Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Andrea and I have been selling on Etsy for almost eight years, which is crazy to say. And so this channel is where I share everything I've learned in the past, everything I'm currently learning about Etsy and just Etsy tutorials, Etsy tips. Hopefully it is helpful as you navigate your Etsy journey. And if you're on that Etsy journey, I would love it if you subscribe because that is what we talk about every single week around here. Today specifically, we are going to be talking about how to fill out the about section on Etsy. So we're gonna be diving into the reasons why it's important and basically everything that you need to fill out the about section on Etsy. That is what we are going to dive into today. Really quickly before we start, I want to let you guys know that if you are looking to deep dive into more than just the about section, all kinds of stuff about Etsy, do check out my free Etsy masterclass. It's completely free. It's an hour long explaining my three-step framework for getting consistent sales on Etsy. So do check that out. There'll be a link in the description. I touch on the about section there, but today we're gonna be deep diving into that in this video. And that masterclass is just a lot of different ways that you can really have a good framework for selling on Etsy. So moving right into our video today, I want to talk about first why the about section is even important. Why does it even matter? So before we even jump into the screen and share actually how to do it, um, I do want to talk about why you should even do it, why you should even care. And there are two main reasons. So let's break those down. The first reason to fill out your about section is for your customer. On this channel, we talk about the relationship between customer experience and Etsy SEO and Google SEO very often. It's something that we are always trying to marry together into having a very profitable Etsy shop. It's very important. You want to make sure that your customer is having a good experience and the about section is one way to do that. Etsy has curated a marketplace of vendors or small business owners and people know that when they're shopping from Etsy, they are getting unique goods from small business owners. It really is a unique place where you can support young people like me just trying to start a business and really know that it's not going somewhere like Amazon, right? So Etsy has curated that. And because of that, I really do think that not every customer, by no means will everybody, every customer see your about section, but there are some who really want to know exactly who they're buying from because that is why they're buying from Etsy in the first place. So showing your face and sharing more about why you love your craft and your story as a small business owner is really, really helpful to your customer to get to know you better. And it's good for you because that means they're more committed to you. Once they shop from your shop and they know who you are and they know your name and they know what you look like and they know why you started your business, they're more likely to be a return customer in the future, which is really, really important. So customer experience is enhanced by that, by that about section being filled out and your brand story. We talk a lot about brand voice and brand vibe and brand story on this channel. It is absolutely told through the about section. That is definitely a place where you can just let your brand run wild in the story that you share and all those sorts of things, which we're gonna be talking about in the how-to part of this video, but definitely your customer experience is really important for your about section. Moving into the second reason why your about section is so important is that it is good for SEO. Etsy has publicly come out and said like, yep, having a filled out about section is good for your rank on Etsy. Etsy is not always very public about what is and is not considered in their search rankings. And so when they come out and say like, yep, this matters, this is important. They have like, it's on their like seller website thing. It is worth paying attention to. Etsy does not always say what is and isn't considered. And so they have outright said like, yep, the about section is important. Pay attention to that. You are going to want to have your about section and your shop policies fully filled out. This is reason enough alone to take this uh, part of your shop very, very seriously. And on top of that, it's really, really good for your customers. So two reasons why you absolutely should be filling out your about section. And now that you are hopefully convinced on this topic, knowing that you should have that, 
let's talk about how to do it and what to include in your about section. So the way that you edit your shop page, the way you edit your about section on your shop is by navigating to the home screen of your shop and just clicking this little button in the left um, corner of your header that says edit shop. That then pulls you into like the shop editor page, which you can see here, and you can do all kinds of stuff here, like rearrange items, your tagline, all those sorts of things, but we are focusing on the about section today. So to get to the about section, you have to scroll past all of your listings and past your announcement and your reviews, and then you are at the about section, and you can see that this is where you can edit the about section, your bio, your video, your photos, all those sorts of things. So now let's break down each of the pieces of the bio that you are able to post and how to get that content there and all that sort of stuff. So this is just gonna be a deep dive into how to get your bio, not just this is technically the how you the tutorial of how you edit it, but what should be there, all those sorts of things. So the very first thing that you see whenever you're editing your shop is a video. You can edit the video, obviously I already have one, you can hit replace video and then upload that from your computer. One thing to know about the videos is that if you can have one, if you're able to make a video, you definitely want to do that. I think Etsy has even come out and said like the about section helps, having a video helps even more with your placement and search. And it's really, really good for your customer. They love to be able to see your mannerisms and stuff like that, stuff that only video can do, not just photo. And so if you are able to record a video, I strongly recommend it. It absolutely does not need to be fancy. You can just use your phone and you can do a little talking head like, hey, my name is Andrea and I sell embroidered gifts on Etsy. This is my shop. I've been doing this for eight years. The reason why I started was because I was obsessed with monograms and then just give a little narrative of your shop and then overlay, just take an iMovie or whatever, get a couple shots of you working, packing orders, making your item and overlay that over and then you have yourself a video. It's very, very simple. It's not, it does not need to be fancy in order to have an impact on your customer and you can just get the video up, which done is always better than perfect and I will preach that till the day that I die on this channel. If you are unable to do a video, you are definitely going to want to add the photos um, and you can use captions. They do recommend using captions just because that makes it more accessible, but you're definitely going to want to add photos to your about section. Obviously I should be doing that as well. Um, and good photo ideas would be a picture of you working, a picture of your space, a picture of items that you make, a close-up shot of what you're working, use all five and just really tell your brand story with the photos and let your customers know that they are well taken care of and that you really care about the quality of your items. You can absolutely do that through photos. I encourage you to at least have one photo of your face in it just so they can establish that relationship with you and know exactly who they are buying from. Okay, so now we're moving into the bio, which is everybody's least favorite part of any about section on any web page ever because it's hard to talk about yourself. So I totally understand that. I wrote this forever ago and I don't plan on changing it because who likes writing bios, right? So Etsy's bio setup is that you can have a title here and then you can move into your actual bio where you get to do a little bit more long form content. As you can see, I opted to make my title um, something that would entice my readers to keep reading the full story. I did not just say my story or meet Andrea. I started my bio off with somewhere between college applications and soccer practices, saltwater prep was born. I did that so that they would know like, okay, so obviously she was a senior in high school when she started, this is where she did her business. And they're like, okay, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to keep reading. And then I go in to tell the actual story of my business. If you are struggling with what to say, the easiest way I have found to write really anything to write out a script for a YouTube video or a bio for your Etsy shop is to answer the W questions. So who are you? What is it that you do? Why do you do it? That is a very big, big question to answer in your bio. Where are you from? 
when did you start? It is very, very good. I'm gonna go back to that answering the question of why. It is really, really good and really impactful to share why you have your business. If you're not the type of person that has some impactful why, like I know that there's some people who are like, okay, I had this traumatic event happen and now I use my Etsy shop to raise money. That is obviously something you are going to want to say in your bio. That is something that your customers want to and need to know in order to shop from you. So definitely wanting to tell that if you're not someone who thinks that they have an impactful why, definitely just think through critically what draws you to this small business experience. Why do you love your craft? Why do you keep doing it? What makes it so fun for you? You can see that my about section, if you read it, it's hardly anything to do with my love of my craft and everything to do with my love of being self-employed. Weave that in. They definitely want to know why you started your business. It is very impactful to your customers. Of course, I know that you can hear all these things and say, that's great, but I'm still absolutely struggling to write my bio. There are a couple things that I want you to remember as you write it, just so that you can get some, I don't know, I find them very helpful tips. So the very first thing is go and look at other people's bios for inspiration. Um, look at how their grammar is and their brand voice and all that sorts of things. Look at other people's for inspiration. And the other thing is do not overthink it. Done is better than perfect. I find that people spend so much time overthinking their bios when in all actuality, there are other things you could be spending time on in your business as well that will make you more money and probably be more fulfilling to you because bios make you want to rip out your hair. So do not spend time overthinking this. Done is better than perfect. Okay, so those are the three main pieces of your about section. I'm going to cover the rest of it in a minute, but I do want to note one thing before we move into the more technical um, stuff that you can have in your bio. When it comes to your about section, I have talked about on this channel, brand voice and brand vibe. And if you take that masterclass, we cover it in depth, how to get there, what it is, all those sorts of things. You want to make sure that your entire about section is on brand, even down to the, the video that you share. Is it upbeat? Is it moody? The photos that you share, are they bright? Are they dark? Are they calm? And the story that you tell, is it fun? Is it exciting? Is it a story of hardship and you overcame it? All of the stuff that you say and post and all the images, it all needs to re relate back to that brand story and be on brand. It is very, very important that your about section is right in line with your typical brand voice and brand vibe. If you don't know what your brand voice or brand vibe even is or how to do it, make sure to check out the masterclass. We cover that in depth in the masterclass. Okay, so moving on to the more technical stuff, you can also include links in your about section. You can see that it's very easy to just hit add a link and you can include any sort of website or social media, which I recommend linking your business Instagram and maybe even your business website, your email list, all those sorts of things. And then scrolling down, also you want to make sure that you have your shop members and it's very easy to do. Just hit add a shop member, upload a little profile picture, give them the name, add a role and write a little bio. And then that is your about section is complete. This shop policy section is also really important to fill out for SEO, but it's different than the about section. And so from there, you would just hit view shop and you can see how it shows up for, sorry, it's called past reviews. You can see how it shows up for your customers. It's a very, very good, very, very good way to just give your customers more to read about and more to learn about you and more on brand experiences with your brand. That being said, now you know how to edit your about section, all the things that should go into it. I really don't want, even though this is a uh, full video deep dive, I don't want you to confuse there being an entire video dedicated to this to um, with the fact that it should be overwhelming or take you forever. This job should not take forever. It is very important and very impactful. However, it does not have to take hours upon hours to get the job done. So I do encourage you to go ahead and fill out your about section. I do think that this is important for any shop owner, big or small, just for customer experience and SEO. I think that it's very, very important. So if this channel had homework assignments, go ahead and edit and 
update or fill out your about section. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. This channel is so fun for me to share just everything I'm learning about Etsy. If you are someone that is trying to learn more about Etsy, please do join us here. It's a very fun place to hang out. Uh, I post two new videos every week all about Etsy and small business. So if that is you, please do subscribe and thank you so much for watching.